When I first started 10 years ago as an assistant professor in NTU, I can never imagine my research and my technology can be useful in such a global scale pandemic. When the pandemic first began in early 2020, Singapore went into lockdown. So my team and I, we were not able to come back to work in the lab. This is where all of our research activity went online. For the past 10 years, our group has been working on developing nanotechnology-based sensor to detect various chemicals or molecules. So when COVID hit, we were thinking, can we pivot our platform to detect COVID-related biomarkers? The principle of a breathalyzer is very simple. So we have a handheld, one-time use only breathalyzer. So a person just blow into the breathalyzer for 10 seconds and he or she will release breath volatile organic compound. So when we slot our breathalyzer into the reader, we'll pick up all the signals and then our software will tell this person has COVID or not in two minutes. The main mission for most universities uh, is to excel in education and research. However, I think that uh, today's universities should also create a strong impact to the world we live in. Well, basically, we want to make the world a better place. And one of the best ways to do this is to translate our research outcome to actual innovative products and services. Researchers and scientists shouldn't just be contented with just fouling patterns and publishing in top journals. They should go that extra mile towards commercialization. COVID-19 is definitely here to stay, at least for the upcoming years. Um, and there is the increasing demand for fast and rapid testing. And Silver Factory Technology aims to provide a solution uh, for mass screening, not only for COVID-19, but also for the upcoming infectious diseases that are emerging. So we have done up to uh, 100,000 tests uh, with on-par accuracy with other existing uh, test kits in the markets. We have just received the provisional authorization from Singapore's Health Sciences Authority. We are looking to conducting more uh, larger scale trials in Singapore and other countries in the regions. Uh, looking forward to the eventual rollout to the rest of the world. The biggest use for the breathalyzer would be for mass screening, mainly to clear large crowds. So I would say airport screening, uh, large events like sporting events, weddings, conferences, and even uh, cruises. The biggest advantage is being non-invasive and fast. I'm very proud of my team because there were so many ups and downs uh, and so many challenges that we have to overcome and uh, they were all able to step up 500% of their efforts and make our breathalyzer a success. I've been doing robotics for more than 30 years. Uh, when we started, it was the time that uh, NASA just launched the um, uh, space probe to Mars and Jupiter. And since then, we know robotics uh, have flourished for uh, many years, and they are all going to the wide uh, application in different kinds of industries. XDBot is a uh, spray type disinfection robot. So this XDBot just uh, conceived uh, in the beginning of the COVID-19 in 2020. This robot possesses those uh, electrostatic sprays, so when you spray on the surface, it can wrap around the object um, so that uh, you can make the disinfection to be consistent and also to be quite uh, effective. Uh, the importance of this uh, disinfection robot is to help people to fight the pandemic during the unknown stage. No one knows the risks. So this robot will be able to allow the, uh, the disinfection workers to remotely operate this machine without really getting the exposure risks. Uh, this robot has been uh, done many trials and tests in Singapore, for example, in campus, in hospitals, and also in the shopping mall uh, or shopping outlets. Also, this robot has been used in the US hospital and other uh, places like uh, event hall and also uh, the um, sports stadium. Well, I strongly believe that top-notch research and productization do go hand in hand. As such, in addition to education and research, innovation should be the third pillar for universities. If a university were to be seen as a stool, I think we all agree 
that three legs would be more stable than two.